I just bought this new binos. It's the Fury Vortex Fury with a Platy Ballistics solver. It just came out a few months ago. And then I've had this Kestrel for uh, a few years now. Uh, this has been my go-to for getting my dope before stages. So I'm going to be comparing the environmentals between the two and also the ballistic solver. And maybe answering the question, can this replace the Kestrel? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So uh, the new Vortex uh, Fury with the Platy Ballistics has a uh, sensor in it. It's inside of the chassis, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure where it is, to be honest with you. Um, but it's able to measure your temperature, pressure, and humidity, just like the Kestrel does. Um, the Kestrel has this sensor over here. And it also has these two sensors to be able to measure temperature, pressure, and humidity. So what I'm going to be doing is comparing the environmentals between the two. So I already spun up the Kestrel and locked the environmentals. Um, right now, as you can see, it's uh, 76 degrees inside of my shop. Um, so let's start with the Kestrel. It's at 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and the pressure is 29.44. And then the percentage of humidity is 44%. Now we're gonna take a look at the Fury. Temperature, 77. Uh, pressure is 29.4 I can't see if there's any humidity I think there's humidity in his one this should be in this one too so it's 29.4 and 77 I mean it's off by one but it's good enough for me um, the humidity I don't think you can see the humidity on this you have to open the Fury app through the iPhone to be able to, and connect it to be able to see the humidity, I guess. You do have to open the app on the phone and link it to be able to see the humidity. But as you guys can see, that's pretty dang close. This only goes to uh, the tenth, the nearest tenth, and this goes, the cash flow goes to the nearest hundredth. Um, and the temperature that the Fury says the temperature is 77 and the Kestrel is 76. I've heard that when you're outside, it takes longer for the Fury to get acclimated. For example, if it's 77 degrees inside the room and then you go outside and it's freezing, um, you're gonna have to wait until the binoculars get used to the temperature outside. I'm not sure how long that may take, probably less than 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Um, but with the Kestrel, you're able to get your temperature as soon as possible because I guess the, um, this thing right here and these things, um, I think these are for the pressure and humidity and this one's for temperature. It's more exposed. Whereas with the Fury, I think it's, um, I think the actual sensors are inside. So I was actually able to check the humidity. So um, the Fury does measure humidity as well. I'm not sure how, but I'm not sure where the sensor is on these, but um, the humidity in the Fury is 46 versus 44% on the Kestrel, which to be honest, doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, the biggest factor that will apply your bullet trajectory will be your temperature. That's probably the most important one. 
Uh, pressure is pretty important, but it doesn't have as much impact on the temperature and humidity. Um, 46 to 44 is very small difference. So I would say that the Fury is pretty on point with the Kestrel. And the only uh, negative about the Fury um, I, is that it takes longer for the sensors to um, acclimate to the weather, whereas the Kestrel is almost immediate. So before we go outside and compare the dope between the Kestrel and the Fury, we want to make sure that the environmentals on the Kestrel is the same thing as the Fury because we want to eliminate as many variables as possible. Uh, we, the less variables, the better information that we have and the more accurately that we can compare the dope between the two to see if it lines up. So right now, if you look at the binocular icon on the left side um, on the Fury app, uh, if you open environmental, you'll see this. It, the binocular button, um, the icon on the left is basically saying that the Fury sensors are activated. You can edit that by clicking on the pencil icon on the right. So if you look at your Kestrel and if it says 90 degrees, you can input it at 90 degrees and then the pressure 30.01 in the Kestrel, then you input it as 30.01 and then humidity 58%. Um, and then afterwards you can go ahead and sync it. Uh, there's a button under the top that you can sync the temperature, pressure, humidity onto the, um, the Fury. So uh, instead of going outside, I ended up just staying inside. I was trying to go to a park, but since I can see out to 500 yards uh, in my, through my backyard, why not just do it in here? Um, with the 22, that's kind of the limit anyway for the matches is four or 500 yards. So I made sure that my um, bullet profile and my Kestrel matched up with the exact bullet profile on the, the uh, Fury, making sure that the feet per second, BC, bore height, etc., is all the same. Um, I could sync the Kestrel with the Fury so that I could just utilize the environmentals with this, but I just chose to do it separate just for the purposes of this video, um, just, to, just so I could test them independently and see if they line up. I have also inputted a three o'clock wind from seven o'clock with the Kestrel and also a three o'clock wind at seven miles an hour with the Fury AB. Let's go to 53 yards. Uh, the Fury AB is telling me that I'm holding zero zero in elevation and about 0.4 right in the wind. Let's see what the Kestrel says. This is what the Kestrel says. 0.45, so pretty close. Let's go to the next distance. 98 yards is 1.4 elevation and 0.7 of wind for the Fury. Let's see what the Kestrel says. Yeah, pretty close, 1.43 and 0.74 of wind. 175, it's 5.1 of elevation and 1.2 of wind. It's 175, Let's see what the Kestrel says. Yep, pretty spot on 5.06, it's 5.1 rounded up and the wind is 1.19, basically 1.2. So far we're spot on, 479. Oh. Okay, 25.7 of elevation and 2.7 of wind. Let's see what the Kestrel's it's about the limit that you'll go with uh, for matches. So yeah, pretty close, 25.65, rounded up to 25.7. 
and 27, 2.72 of wind. Look at that. It's a perfect match. Okay, let's go out to 500 yards, which is probably the limit with PRS and NRL matches. 502. Okay. At 502, it's 27.6 of elevation and 2.8 of wind on the Fury. Let's see what the Kestrel says. Yep, pretty spot on. 27.59, which is rounded up to 27.6, and 2.83 of wind, which is 2.8. So there you have it, folks. I mean, that's pretty dead on. So, um, can the Fury replace the Kestrel? It depends who you're asking. If I'm hunting and I'm trying to um, save room and weight, um, I could technically just take the Fury and I'll be fine. Or if I'm doing steel safari matches and I don't want to bring in a Kestrel, even though it's kind of light, um, technically I could still be just fine with the Fury because it already has applied ballistics in it. My only worry is that if it's exposed to the sun for too long, the chassis could get way too hot and then it could give a false reading, which uh, happens on the Kestrel, but you easily solve that by spinning the Kestrel so that you get the ambient temperature. Whereas with the Fury, you can't really spin it. I don't think the set. I'm not sure if the sensors are exposed. I think they're all inside. So if it gets too hot, it could give a false reading, um, give you a higher reading than it should be. So that's my only worry about the Fury if, if I don't bring Kestrel. Um, I still plan on bringing the Kestrel with me in matches. This has been my go-to for the past two or three years. And I'm just so used to it. Um, I could technically link the two together so that I could give the environmentalist that I have in the Kestrel and put it in the Fury. So they could go hand in hand and complement each other. So I, um, this, I think that's what I might do for uh, PRS matches. Again, I just had this for, I've just had, I've only had this for a few days. So um, I haven't tried this out in a match yet, but I'm really looking forward to it. Like it's pretty spot on as you guys saw. Um, and part of the reason why with the Kestrel is that you can update the envir environmentals like immediately, it will acclimate immediately, whereas with the Fury, like it takes a little bit longer for it to acclimate. And again, I just wanted to show you guys these results. Look at that. Spot on.